Another powerful and interesting tool in an AI tool is consisting, uh, consistency rendering. It means you can render a consistent image based on one image. But uh, if you want to use consistency rendering, you have to first <coughs> create consistency model. If you click on consistency rendering, you can see it helps you to create a series of the image with consistency. Before that, you have to <coughs> train your uh, AI. It means you have to first select a model and then insert your image, for example, in a different view and create a scenario. For example, if you click <clears throat> add model, you are going to the this model that other people create models. You can see it means uh, you give the AI, <clears throat> for me AI, one image, it's thinking about that, you train that, and it understands what do you want from that model. For example, you have an architectural <clears throat> purpose. For example, this is an, a default Revit, no, project this is an uh, refall default revit uh simple house default house i want to <clears throat> give this image to the software and train it and after that i can use other models that the different uh, for example this and use it for example uh First, uh, we have to train image. So go to the consistency model and you have to create model. You can see I recently <coughs> used that. Again, I want to create model. You can see first, uh, use one image to quickly train your model within a few minutes. Click on that. It gives you here, tells you, okay, open your image here, open and you can open this this is your image that you want to train it you have to explain the model this this prompt is model what do you want of that for example i want this architectural design architectural design rendering green style buildings high quality texture tell the software which things do you want I think I oh sorry. Okay. And here is usage scenario. You have to tell software three or more, or you can add to tell the software, for example, you want to building from front view, from any view that you want. I tell the software, for example, minimalist, architectural, simple, oops, uh, that was that, you can copy and paste, which scenario do you want to train your model, like you can see you can train, in this case you can train for or for example, the front view, uh, back view, well, you can see, tell back view. And I insert my image first in consistent, uh, con consistency <coughs> model. This is my reference. I explain uh, what, what I want from this and use scenario, for example, top view, back view, anything that you want. And you have to first train your image and you have to <clears throat> tell the AI, Permia AI and the Permia AI have to understand it. And it creates a different situation of that. Front, back, you can see it create a back view of this. Interesting. But we have to add more prompt and explanation. You can see it created different model of this. 
to me. You can add a name or anything that you want. Okay. And this is an consistency model. You create your uh, consistency model here. And you have to go to the AI and you want to, this isn't just models and training and that's it. If you want to render image, you have to go to the consistency rendering. And from here, you have to first insert your model. You have to go to the my model and insert this or this. For example, again, this. <clears throat> this is your model. <clears throat> Based this model, you can give another scenario. House front view, house side view, house top view, or you can add your image here. First, I want to this. The front view of the building with a beautiful river passing by. I can delete the boom. Let's try. And there is a forest behind the building. <clears throat> I want to render. I trained my image and then I want to render based on prompts. You can add any. You can see it's generate and this is a winter and there is a snowman on the building let's see or to better understand the software you can add image or you can load other model that other user created and you can insert your image i test that the fast mode you have to if you subscribe the ratio mm, this ratio i uh, like this or you can add more these uh, for fasting render right choosing that and generate and now it's trying to generate the prompt that you insert based on the model that you trained before or you can directly insert your image based on other model of other a user other i will be explaining that okay let's you can close that and it's generating for prompt or image based on that it's better to insert an image you can click on that and see what happened hmm in this case, it does not good its job because it's better to, what's that? Ah, a forest behind that, nice. Cloudy and rainy, it's cloudy, but it's not rain. You have to insert an image to better. Yeah, it's doing jobs well. <clears throat> Snowy with a <clears throat> snowman, nice. For river, you, we have to explain more or insert more. And from here, you can download. Nice. Or you can edit it. Interesting. Okay. Let's, let's create another AI consistency with other model with other user. Okay. I insert a model. For example, I want to use this kind of architectural model and I want to change with this texture. It's nice. Um, yeah, I want to insert my image. This. Let's try if I insert in both three image based on the model that other user created, I insert my image and let's generate and see what happened. You can use other model that other user trained before based on my image. Interesting, now you can see based on other models, other user, we create our interesting material. Nice. We are using a different render and we are simply 
No, because I insert one image, it's create one. Nice, and you can download it. So, if you want to use other models, you can use, you can delete that to have just one generation. Or you can use other models, for example, uh, cartoony, nice. The, commun uh, the community of the Promia is very powerful. It has a lot of users that you can help. Your, you can use the, per, for example, there are assets. Nice. I insert this model and I insert my image, explain it and simply generate. And based on other models, we can change all. So, first you have to train your image and create your own model with your description, with your desired things. And after that, based on that, you can insert your image. And in this way, you can use other user model that uh, trained before. Let's try. We create illustration, a cartoony way. You can see it renders, give it texture. Nice. You don't you have to use 3D. You model your... Uh, nice, nice, nice. You can crop these things here. You can see it's create a cartoony texture for us. Interesting. <clears throat> or such as this lighting, this material. Interesting. It looks like I put my model in Octane or Redshift Renderer. V-Ray render, I <laughs> render it. Nice. This software, this Promia is powerful. So, you learn. First, you have to um, train your model. Then, you can insert your model or other model. I hope you, I hope you understand it. It's very easy. And uh, use it. For using Promi AI, go to the description and click on this link. Then, simply create an account. You can uh, log in or sign up. You can continue with your Google account or you can uh, give an email and create a password if you want. And here is Promi AI website. For using the Promi AI tools, AI tools, you have to spend coins. If you need more coins to using more of tools, you have to buy one of these plans. And you can ready my code. I give that code in description. You can use it to get some coins. Please don't forget to visit our tutorial says apps channel. In this channel, we are introducing Android application and learn how to use them.